Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lisa Cotter and today we're doing April's completed colouring pages. My favourite time of the month. I love the seeing what everyone else has done. So of course in April we started the month with Easter. So I hope everyone had a really lovely Easter. I had a nice Easter. I spent it with my family. I got some art and crafts done with the kids and I also did some baking which was really good. And in April, it was the school holidays. So, of course, it became very busy. I had all the kids home. It was very noisy. <laughs> I'm sure you can all understand that when the kids are on school holidays. So, the month flew by, I will admit. So, in April, I gained 221 new subscribers. So, welcome to my channel, everyone. And I want to say thank you so much to everyone for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I've had so many lovely messages and feedback and support, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. I'm really close to getting a thousand subscribers now, which will be fantastic. So I also released seven videos and... That surprised me. I didn't get all the videos I wanted out, but I got seven done, which isn't bad when I was so busy. I completed 10 colouring pages. I got two sketches done, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And I started a big folder of swatches. Now, um, I used that in my pencil collection videos. So I'll show you that at the end of the video too. And I had 15 swatches to do. So I have a couple more to do yet. <laughs> so, but that's an ongoing whip. So let's get started first off with the PDFs. So this is my first PDF. Um, this is a Hannah Lynn in the fairy tale book. Now I own the PDF as well as the book. And I decided this time to actually do it on a PDF and print it out myself. So this was actually for the Colour For Us um, scavenger hunt, which was Rapunzel. And I actually printed this on my Express blending card. That's the blending card I use for all my alcohol ink artwork. And I did the A5 sized. And I used my Ohuhu markers, which I haven't used in a year and a half. They're still going too good. So there you go. So I used Ohuhu markers. I then went in with the Artex color pencils, as well as some Sakura white jelly roll. And I just wanted to keep it really nice and simple. My main focus was on Rapunzel there with her beautiful hair. And I'm really pleased with this. And it's made me want to use my Ohu markers even more. Um, I think I had a bad try when I first started colouring and didn't really want to use them. So I'll definitely be using them more often. So that was the one there. I was really pleased with that. And then my next PDF was a Easter freebie by Edwina McNamee. Now, she's a new artist to me, but I found this on Facebook, on her Facebook group. And she gave this out for Easter, which was really lovely, and I just fell in love with it. And this is actually the second attempt of it. <laughs> so... I actually used, for this, Artex Colour Pencils. I then used Pan Pastel Pink for the clouds in the background. And I also used Secura Jelly Roll, as well as some Thule Art Paint Pens as well. But I just really wanted it to be not as many colours and just really soft, and I think it really worked. Now, the paper I actually used to print this on, I was testing different papers that I own. This is the actual Fabriano 
paper white white now i own the black black as well but this is the white white one and it was a lot of work <laughs> to get it actually blended on this paper um pencils really love this paper but it just works a little bit differently than my bristol paper that i usually use um it's a very heavy hard stock but it worked really lovely and I liked how bright and white that paper was so that's that one there and that was my second attempt because I'd actually started this one and I decided to leave it on my desk while I went to the toilet and I had my pencils out at the same time and Lily decided to help me color in she thought I hadn't done a good enough job and she needed to color in as well so Lily helped me colour this and I'm actually going to keep this and um, put it away with this one here because it's Lily's drawing now. But I thought that was really funny. It teaches me a lesson not to keep my artwork out when I'm actually working on something because she does like to draw in colouring books. She has tons herself but she likes it and Lily's only two so I can't stay angry at her but I think she did pretty well look at that <laughs> but yes so Lily got into those ones so I really love this and I love Edwina's McNamee's artwork it's so pretty um her Etsy shop's really lovely and I may have bought a few images you'll have to wait to see my coloring book haul for that one Oh, yes, another one. <laughs> so I'll put those aside over there. Now, the first page, which I actually forgot that I'd actually done. Now, this one, The Matchstick Mouse, a springtime colouring book by Morgan O'Brien, was actually meant for Amanda Colour's Easter event. But I totally forgot to take a photo of it. And when I was going through the books that I completed... I realised, I was like, oh no, I forgot. But anyway, so I actually got this page here done. So I know it's not a, um, a lot of colours in this page. I went for a sort of a muted tones. Um, I wanted the nice blue sky and the green of the grass. And um, my little mouse, of course, matches all my other ones. And I tried to do a little bit of fur going on there, um, but I'm pretty happy with that. And that was actually done with Artex Colour Pencils again. I use them a lot, I will admit. I then used some Thule Art paint pens, as well as my Posca pen um, and the Secura Jelly Roll. So I'm really pleased with that. And I do apologise, Amanda, if you get to watch this, that I didn't get this out in time. I really am sorry. Um, I wanted to, but I totally forgot that I actually done it. <laughs> so I did get one done. <laughs> so that was that one there. That was The Matchstick Mouse, a springtime colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. My relax book. So I'll put my little bookmark over there. Now, the next one I got done is My Life Inside of a Jar by Coco Wyo. Now, I got these in my last haul, um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this book, but I decided to keep this one. Um, Jasmine wanted the fairy one I'd gotten, so I've kept this one, and I decided to do a page in it. So I actually did this page here now this is the little mouse page now this is actually the matching image to this now i actually had to draw in the tree as well as the bottom of the jar here that was missing in this image um but i drew that in myself i decided to actually do a daytime scene instead of being i would have liked to actually do the same colors here but I just didn't know how I wanted to do the background. So I went for my own style. So this was actually done with Artex coloured pencils. I then went in with soft, um, no, yes, it was soft pastel for the actual clouds. Um, I used Secure Jelly Roll 
for the white in the eyes. I used pencil and then I went over with Wink of Stella on the little dots here in some of them in yellow. And then I actually used glossy accents. And I used glossy accents on all the shiny parts here, as well as on the butterfly and the little dots, just to make it a little bit different. And this is the first time I've really used glossy accents. So I should see if you can see that there. But they're really shiny. Um, not sure if you can really see that shine. Um, but that's how I did it. I'll put my light on. I'll bring my light over. You'll see my... Might show them a bit more in the light. Not really. <laughs> but oh well. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to actually use that glossy accent. So that's the little one I've got there. Um, I've ordered a bigger one now, so I've got that in my thing as well, because I definitely will be using those glossy accents more. Um, it just goes really super shiny. So I am so pleased with this page. Um, this was actually for the Coco Wyo contest, but I didn't get it out in time. So I read the dates wrong. But I will. I had a lot of fun doing that. So that was that page there. And I'll put my little love heart with the other one over there. Now we'll take a look at my buddy colours. Now, as I said, I had five, which is quite a lot. <laughs> now, my first one is Miniature Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. Now, this was actually about buddy colour with Valerie B. Now, Valerie is a lovely subscriber of mine, as well as she has an Instagram account, which I will actually put a link in the description below to her Instagram account. And we did this page here. Now, this is the crow page. Now, Valerie chose this one. Now, for this one, I actually used a very only four pencils for the whole of the crow here. And that was Posca pencils. So I used Posca pencils for here and all the rocks and some of the dirt and the flowers. And then I did the same here. The clouds is actually a product called Dew Drops. And I actually used that with my cloud stencil. Um, I also used the dewdrop in the green. I have the pastel set and to do a little bit of bushes. Now, it does do a chalky like residue on it, so you have to be careful. And I matched it here with the clouds and that there. And then I used a little bit of soft pastel down here to make the rocks actually appear like it's dirt fading into the page. I actually drew some little rocks here. And then around the whole of the crow, crow um, I actually used my sparkly silver stardust pen by Secura. So I can't see if you can see that, but it's just a slight sparkle and there's a lot of detail there. So um, it might not show up fully, but I really love this page. I think um, even though it's such a small book, um, it was really fun to do and I really love it. So I'll put mine over here and here's Valerie's here. And Valerie did such a beautiful job. Thank you so much, Valerie, for doing a buddy colour with me. And I'm sure we'll do another one soon as you get back from your holiday. So have a wonderful time. So thanks again, Valerie. And I will put a link in the description below to her beautiful page. So that was that one there. Miniature Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. Now, the next one is the tour in Europe, I believe, or tour along Europe. And this is by Rita Berman. Now, this was a buddy colour with my good friend, Amanda Colours. And of course, she has a YouTube channel and an Instagram account, and she also is one of the actual um, owners of Colour For Us, so her and Disney Megs. So I'll put a link in the description below 
um, to Amanda's different places. And we actually did the other side to this page, to this one. <laughs> so this is what we did last month and we did this month here. So for this month, I actually used, again, the Star Joy gold colored pencils. I went in with um, soft pastels for the background. I tried to sort of match it with that one. I'm not sure if it really worked. Um, I used Sakura Jelly Roll for the actual whites. And I'm really pleased with that. And I think they both match. And um, it was just fun to do. Um, it was a lovely page to do with Amanda. Now, I'll show you Amanda's page. And this is Amanda's here. So thank you again, Amanda, so much for buddy colouring with me. It was a lot of fun again and I can't wait to do our new image this month so that was tour along Europe by Rita Berman lovely little book there now my next one is Johanna Basford's rooms of wonder now um, this book as you all know I only use Artex color pencils in this copy now, this was actually a buddy colour with the Colourfully Optimistics Discord group. And Hape runs um, a, color, a buddy colour each month. And it's page 23 by the 23rd. So this month's last in April's was this double page spread here. Sorry, it doesn't want to show up on <laughs> It's a big picture. So this is a double page. So I guess you could say it's two pages. And it's the bookshelf one. So I actually used Artex colour pencils for this page here. I used um, soft pastels for the background. I just really wanted a soft sort of background. I used Sakura Jelly Roll in this page as well. And I sort of went for matching colors in each corner so you can sort of so the colors sort of repeat in places but i'm really pleased with it i really love the little jars i think that were really cute um they're a lot of fun to do so i'll actually put the pages here that everyone did now i'm not sure if anyone else got theirs done i know happy did so I'll put their pages here and I'll put a link in the description below to Hat Pay's YouTube channel. She has a YouTube where you can find out more information about the page 23 by the 23rd. So my next buddy colour was in RJ Hampson's A Frog's Tail. Now, this is a buddy colour with Christina's Art Corner. Now, Christina reached out to me. She is one of my lovely subscribers. And Christina asked if I'd like to do a buddy colour. And, of course, I said yes. And she also has an Instagram account. And she asked me to choose a page. So, I chose this beautiful page here. Um, I loved this page. And I thought the different elements in the page are really interesting. You had the koi fish and you had the bird and all the little frogs. So I went for um, just not as many different frog colours. So there was a couple of each um, colour of the frogs. Um, I used Artex colour pencils on all the pencil work. I then used Tuliart paint pens for this one. And then at the end, I went in with some Sakura Jelly Roll. And I'm really pleased with that. I actually did go in with some Prisma to lighten up the parts here to make it look like water. Um, nice and light. But I'm really pleased with this page. Again, I love this book. It's such a beautiful book. And... It's called A Purpose in Liquidy. And I matched that one there to that one. But I did just keep to the circle here. I didn't do any of this around here because I didn't think it needed it. 
but I really love this book. It's such a fun book to do. Now, and this one here is Christina. She did such a beautiful job. Thank you so much, Christina, for buddy colouring with me. Now, I think we're actually doing another one in this book again for this month. So that'll be a lot of fun. So thanks again, Christina. So that was RJ Hampson's A Frog's Tale. And I love this book. It's become one of my favourites. Now, the last buddy colour and the last colouring book I got done this month was actually in my favourite book, Circle of Life. And this is by, and I'm not saying it, as you all know, I don't want to mess up saying it. <laughs> And this was actually a buddy colour with my good friend, Valerie A. Now, Valerie is actually a friend of mine on Facebook, and she recently got this book here. So I asked her if she'd like to actually do a buddy colour. Now, and she said yes, which is fantastic. And her sister and her both watch my channel, and they're both lovely ladies, both Aussies. And her husband actually chose the page we're doing. We did so. We actually did the windmill page, which is just lovely. I really enjoyed doing this page. It was such a, a fun page to do. So with this page, I used Color Colour Pencils. Um, I haven't used them before. I'd only swatched them out, hadn't used them. So it was really nice to actually use them. I went in with Secura Jelly Roll in white for all the little clouds, the white in the clouds. I then went in with the Secura Jelly Roll Stardust for the gold around the actual sun. And I also did the sparkly one around the trees as well, so they sparkle. Um, you can't really see that, sadly. I then used a paint pen for my actually flowers here. Um, so they were more brighter and stood out. And then I used my Stardust and my Glossy Accents again. Um, I've become addicted to this stuff. <laughs> and to do the little window, so it slightly shimmers there. Let's see if it gets in the light. No, you can't really see that there. Um, I can't win with all my shiny things I've done. I actually went around, right around the edge with the silver sparkly pen again with by Secura. Now the background here, this nice blue background, is actually done with the Pearl Drops ink. And it's a very chalky-like um, ink. And that was really lovely. I love that blue. And then I actually decided... To spray this on now this is new to me this is called Nuvo Mika Mist now this one is I'm not sure if they have the color name um, pearled ivory and I can tell you now it is so pretty the little shimmer it gives it's like a really pretty slight shimmer you can sort of see there um, it just gives on the page, but boy, does this stuff stink. I'm putting it out there. It smells like. Now, if anyone's done hairdressing, which I used to do hairdressing, it smells like the old-fashioned perming lotion. And that stuff used to stink when you had to do that. And that's what it smells like. I was sitting there going, oh, this really smells. Um, it smells really bad. Um, but thankfully, my page doesn't smell now. <laughs> I was worried. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to use that. That stinks. But it's so pretty. And um, I will use it. <laughs> but just a warning, if you ever get this stuff, it smells really bad. <laughs> like rotten eggs. That's what it smells like. Um, but that was such a fun page to do and it made it even more special doing it with Valerie. Um, Valerie does not have uh, Instagram or um, YouTube channel. 
but I really love this book, as everyone knows, so it was really special. So she having um, not just Valerie involved, it was her husband as well, which made it even better. So thanks again, Valerie. So now we're going to actually look at the artwork I did. So if you only wanted to see my colouring pages that I did, those are the 10 I got done for the month with, which I think was rather good, especially since I was really busy. <laughs> So my first sketch was done in my Strathmore mixed media paper. I really like this one. And it was this page here that I did. Now, I really love this little image. I just wanted to sketch and have some fun. So it's this one here. Now, I actually just sketched it out with lead pencil, the 2H pencil to be exact. And then I went over with some HP and some darker ones as well and I used this here to blend in this is by Stedler and just to blend in some of the areas um, I was just testing out different things with it but I think she looks really cute um, I wouldn't mind actually um, tracing this onto bigger paper and colouring her in with alcohol inks or maybe just colouring this one in. Um, I'll have to see. I'm not sure how my alcohol inks would work on this paper. But I'm really pleased with that one there. Um, I just wanted a sketch. I wanted to do something different. Um, I've been colouring so often. So this was stress relief for me. <laughs> I love my sketching. So my next sketch was done in the Tone Tan Strathmore paper. Um, I love my Strathmore paper and this is my second sketchbook. So um, it took two years to fill my other one and this is my second one. So I actually did Baby Yoda. He's so cute. <laughs> Now, this was actually sketched out first, so I'll put my sketch here for a second so you can actually see the sketch. And then what I did is I went over the sketch and um, I didn't want to actually use pen for the line art. I just wanted it to be pencil line art. So it is pencil line art for him. I used Artex color pencils as well as Fabric Castile Polychromos and Prismacolors. Um, I used Artex paint pens and my Posca paint pen. And I'm really pleased. And I wanted to do that sticker effect, which I seem to be doing in this book so far. But I really love this. Now, I've never done a picture of Baby Yoda before. And I know technically this was done this week. Um, now, this was done for May the 4th Be With You, which is Star Wars Day on the 4th of May. So I got this done and I'm so pleased with it. Now, I did want to do it as a um, speed colour on my channel, but I just didn't get the time. Plus, the cat had other ideas. I'll insert a picture so you can see what I mean. <laughs> she decided I was not colouring that night. <laughs> So I'm really pleased with this. Um, it's the first time doing anything Star Wars related. Um, I, my husband and kids said, are you going to do something Star Wars related? And I thought, oh, I'll try. So I chose Baby Yoda because he's so cute. So that's that one there. And I'm really pleased. And um, it was really nice just to do something different and do my own cute style. And I know it doesn't look exactly like Baby Yoda and all the images I've seen, but I took inspiration from that. So that was that one. Now, that was the artwork I got done. And now I got also in April started was my big folder of swatches. Now, I decided after watching Disney Megs, I believe it was, and she has a lot of her art supplies in one folder. And I used to have that, but now I've got a lot more art supplies. So my aim is to make a big folder of swatches. 
Now I'm not sure if everything's going to fit in this folder because it's pretty big, but I'm still not sure. <laughs> um, but my intention is to have all my swatches in one place. So I sat and made this in Photoshop as the front cover and it just slips in. I actually stuck it down because it kept slipping because um, that's got a little sleeve here where you can actually put things in. And then this has all my swatch charts um, and these are all my pencil collections. So I've done the colour pencils mostly now. Um, there's a couple of ones I haven't done a swatch chart for. I'm just using the swatch charts they've got for now and that is the colours um, and the whole bones. I will have to sit down and do them. But I actually got a few of these done. So every page is done. And all of that is all pencils. So I've got it all done. Um, and then while I had this out, Lily got to the Polychromos one. So I'm going to have to redo that because she decided to draw all over it with my pen. As I said, my mistake for leaving things on my desk. But yes, this will actually have all my swatch charts. So what I'm going to do is have, um, I've got some tabs coming. And if you saw my Tamu order, um, I'm actually going to have these little labels stuck on the tabs. And they'll be coloured pencil. And then I've got most of my um, watercolour pencil swatched out, which will be a video this month. Um, and, of course, I'm going to have all of them done. And I want an area, so I have started putting some things in here. Um, but I have bought some more inserts as well. But that's getting to that there. You'll see that soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to have all my art supplies in here. My distress inks, my watercolours, um, everything, hopefully. Um, I have bought another folder in case this one is not big enough. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Oh, well. <laughs> so that's going to be my big folder of swatches. And once it's all done, I will definitely do a video about swatches. Um, I might be tearing my hair out after doing all these swatches. Um, so thank you everyone for watching. And what is your favourite page that I did this month? And did you get any colouring done this month? So again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked my video, press like and subscribe. And come back soon for more videos. Bye.